What is going on everyone? I am Mike, welcome back to Tech 24 Seven TV. I am so glad that you're here because I'm gonna share one of the favorite accessories that I've been using here for the past few days. This is the Backbone One Game Controller and it's specifically built for iPhone. It's available through Backbone's website, which I'll put a link down in the description below. It is $99 and it'll work with any iPhone from the iPhone 6S on newer. And it'll connect to your iPhone via a lightning port that is built right into the game controller itself. Now, since it has the lightning port on the game controller, that means it's gonna have ultra low latency, which means is that you shouldn't experience any type of delay while using the controller. It does have a lightning port here on the bottom and that does supports pass-through charging. Now, even though this is a game controller and like most other game controllers that you'd find for the PS4, the Xbox, that requires a charge, this does not require a charge. It uses very, very minimal uh, battery life when using it with your iPhone. Now, once you buy this from Backbone, they ship it to you. It takes about three or four days to get it to you. This will fit any iPhone, and you simply go ahead and extend this, plug in your iPhone here into the lightning port, and then close it shut. Now, opening up the Backbone app is gonna show you the game that you last played here, in addition to any games that you've already installed that are support the controller. This is gonna show you trending highlights from gameplay. It's gonna show you also trending games here that are also within the iOS ecosystem. Other than the design and the fact that you do not have to charge the Backbone One, there are a few things that make the Backbone One, I think, unique. So first there's gonna be the actual game controller design, which is gonna be the most important part of it. How does it feel in your hands when you're playing games? And now this controller itself has a good feel. I don't have necessarily big hands. Uh, these fit very well inside of my hands. I have. I don't get tired or I don't get fatigued having them in my hands. The buttons are very, very responsive. You can go ahead and press these buttons all day long and they have got a good springiness to them while being responsive. Now also, the controllers or the jog sticks feel very good as well. And not only are they you know, up, down, left and right usable, but they also go ahead and push in. So the L3 and R3 will allow you to go ahead and push in to do additional game functions depending on what that game is. There is a uh, lightning port pass through here which supports power. So when you're charging your iPhone, it also supports lightning audio if you're using a pair of lightning headphones. And there's a 3.5 millimeter jack here if you're using a pair of old school headphones. Now there are four dedicated hardware buttons on the bottom of the controller that allow you to go ahead and one, mute and unmute in gameplay. Start recording either a screenshot or a video based in 1080p. Open up the menu for the Backbone One app. And there's the aspect of having rich presence for any of your friends that are using the Backbone One controller as well. It gives you contextual updates on what they're playing and when they started playing. I think that's very cool as well. In addition to being able to play any game that's been optimized for game controllers from the App Store, you can also use your iPhone and the game controller to play PS Remote Play, to play Xbox Remote Play, to play Stadia games using the web browser, uh, and it, they function very well. The game controller you know, functions as any other game controller does. You don't have to worry about carrying a separate game controller with you that you have to always charge and then pair with this. Now, if you are unfamiliar with what PS Remote Play is, this is an app that's downloaded to your iPhone that allows you to go ahead and remotely connect to your PlayStation that is either in another room, might be at home, you are separated from it physically by any type of distance, play any game that I currently own uh, that's available on that console, and that console is gonna turn on and uh, I'll be able to play it. And the gameplay is actually surprisingly decent. I've actually had a lot of fun I'm playing Watch Dogs Legions, I've had a lot of fun playing Red Dead Redemption 2 on my phone with this controller. The only difference is that I have a small screen. And I think it provides good gameplay and feel to it when playing these types of games. I am the type of person who likes playing racing games, who likes playing kind of role-playing games, and this is very comfortable to play. I think the most amount of time I put into it was about an hour and a half. I didn't necessarily have any type of pain in my hands. I didn't have fatigue. Uh, what I did have was a dead battery because I've been playing for so long. Um, but other than that, I think that this is going to be a, a hit. If you haven't seen this, I would definitely suggest checking it out. Now, I have some other videos planned for this game controller. Let me know what you wanna see in the comments below or let me know if you have any questions. I am Mike, this is Tech247 TV. I'll talk to you in the next one.